I came to Delhi College uh, some months back, man. I don't remember the exact date. And I was invited uh, for an event here and I spoke near the lakeside. And that day I made a declaration to myself that if I ever do an event in Indore, it has to be in Delhi College. I just love this place. In fact, if I was ever in this school, I would always fail because I would never want to get out of the school. It's such a beautiful place. Uh, so I came to Indore thanks to Pankaj. Uh, I remember about six, seven months back, uh, Pankaj reached out to me in Bombay and said, uh, I'm from Indore and that time I think Pankaj was used to grow up with Ola. And he said, there's a Jain social group here and we want to invite you because our members want to understand how to invest in startups. Okay, and that till then I had heard of Indore. Okay, have a mini Bombay hai, or no, jale bhi roz khate hai. Uh, uh, and that's all I knew about Indore. What I love about Indore is uh, people are you know, very shocking, you know, people live life. They don't scream and they are very lively as people. It's a very entrepreneurial city of course. Uh, Everybody is trying to do something or the other. And then I met a couple of startups, of course there's Engineer Babu, Viti, Hopping Go, 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 all these guys are here. The great part about this city is uh, very small tech companies are doing global business out of India. So we did feel, I think a couple of days back, is the 20th most visited site out of Twitter and Instagram in India. Uh, they're the second most largest content company in the world, which is a company out of Indore. Uh, of course, our investing company, Engineer Babu, completely bootstrapped, never raised the round of funding. And especially in today's age, when you hear news of Astezilla with $35 million of funding having shut down, or you listen to Snappy laying of people, and there's this general mood of Blue, the industry. I think cities like Indore are sort of torch bearers on how to do business. Because most people here don't start a business to get funded. They start a business because they see a problem which they can solve. They have a huge ambition. So most of them are thinking of creating global companies out of Indore. They don't want to move to a Bangalore or a Bombay or a Delhi. So I see a huge potential. And since I exited my last startup and me in relation Sanjay started scale ventures as a fund. We also decided that instead of focusing on all the so-called sexy companies, we would want to go into the real India, which is the tier 2, 3, 4 cities of India. And the first city we have chosen is Indore. And this is our first major attempt at doing an event in Indore. Our idea is to have a space where the brightest minds of the city come together, collaborate, and then we intend to pick a few people from here and give them global exposure. So if I look at a lot of startups, I look at a lot of entrepreneurs, the key difference apart from their product idea and whatever they do is either a good mentor who can guide them or exposure to stuff which they have not seen before. So our plan is to pick bright kids from MD as a state and take them to say Japan, take them to Silicon Valley, take them to Tel Aviv, take them to China. The other thing that we are planning is we would long want to do a one year fellowship program where say about 30 kids get picked up from all over India. We put them through a one-year structured program, starting with about a week in I am Ahmedabad campus, where they get coached by professors of the best business schools of the world. So we'll try and get a Sunil Gupta from Harvard Business School, get Professor Sina of I am Ahmedabad, all these guys, and practicing entrepreneurs who will come and give them the basics of say, how to read a term sheet, how to make a pitch deck to raise funding, how to think scale. So if you're running a 20 lakh business, how do you even think of creating a thousand crore company? Give them those tips and then assign mentors to each of these guys. So if you're a tech company, you get to the best mentors from tech companies. So for instance, Pranay Chule, my friend who runs Quicker, is more than happy to mentor a couple of startups. So whoever gets selected actually gets and probably moves to Bangalore for a few months, works out of the Quicker office and gets direct access to Pranay for any suggestion. And then if we figure out that this company needs to go to the best space in the world and in that place is Bay Area, California, we actually get them to go to Bay Area, California. But instead of staying in some hostel or hotel, we get an Indian family who's there in Bay Area to host them. So they get that exposure. So throughout the year, we handhold them on how to do a business, write a business plan, raise around the funding, and then actually how to spend that funding also. And after one year, they pass out and then they become alumni and then so on and so forth. So that's the intent that we have come here with. Today's idea is not to have another gap session. Uh, that's the reason we are called practicing entrepreneurs. So we have Ruma Patima who runs a company called Zingo Hotels. He has four properties in Bangalore. 
has never raised a round of funding, completely bootstrapped. And to attend this event, she and her co-founder have driven all the way from Bangalore. And they have reached here today morning. We have people here who have come from all over the country. And these are the people we want to put up here. And the moderators have been given one instruction. Don't let anybody give you gas. They should give practical tips which you guys can use in your day-to-day -day businesses or startups.